to Journey to Illustration with Arlie Anderson. Sorry this episode is up a little bit late this week. It seems like life has been pulling me out of the studio a little bit more than usual lately. I had my first meetup with the Wi-Fi group this last Saturday and that went really well. It was really awesome getting to meet other female illustrators in my area, some who are just getting their career started and others who have been working in the industry for about 20 years now. I love feeling creatively charged and motivated to tackle my own personal projects that I've been putting off. I have to thank Amanda Sartor especially for giving me the kick in the pants I needed. In telling her about my children's book idea, she gave me the advice that if I overthink it and worry too much about finding my demographic, that it will probably never come together. And that sometimes the people who succeed are the ones who just barrel through and don't take a second thought as to whether or not it'll work. So right after the Wi-Fi meetup, I started outlining my book and have been transferring it to index cards so I can get the plot completely solidified. I also had a meetup with my artist as brand group this week. We have a cohesive idea for our project that we're going to collaborate together on this year and we all have an assignment to work on before the next meeting. Part of it involves my personal project, so it's even further motivation to get the rough draft completed for my children's book and to start working on the thumbnails for the project. This is my first time throwing myself into a leadership organizer type position and it's kind of scary and strange and new to me but it's also a lot of fun and really energizing. And more than anything what I'm excited about is seeing how everybody else's projects and ideas come together and being able to facilitate that. I also did a session of head quick sketch this week and I'm finally starting to feel like I'm moving forward in that again. It's still hard but the 20 minute sessions are a lot more fun now that I've gotten used to the five and 10 minute head quick sketch. This week I look forward to doing a one hour head drawing and seeing how much I can push it. I've also been working on my newborn fairy painting this week. I finished up the burn umber and white monochrome under painting and it surprised me how much easier doing the burn umber and white monochrome has become since I've been studying portrait phase one with Watts Online. I guess that's practice for ya. And then the painting dried just enough yesterday for me to add my first unifying glaze of ruby red and for me to add the first coat of my background. I've been storing it in the oven lately um, because I've noticed that when I work in glazes the painting becomes a dust and hair magnet more than usual for my oil paintings. And even when it's dry it's still very glossy and sticky to the touch. So keeping the painting particle free has proven to be nigh impossible. Thankfully there's not a lot of particles or hair in the oven. I just have to warn my husband Josh not to cook anything unless he first checks the oven for a painting. Such is the life of being married to an artist I guess. I also finished up the gouache portrait of my mother for my belated Mother's Day present. And I think it turned out surprisingly well considering my reference photo wasn't the greatest. I actually cobbled together two different photos and the area where the hair is in front of the face a little is where the face was obscured by someone's shoulder. And the photo was fairly pixelated as well so I couldn't really see a lot of detail. So I had to make up a lot of the missing detail on the fly. But with that done I now have a total of 13 gouache paintings under my belt. Seven done in the Zorn palette and then six done in black and white, which means I have enough practice done to finally move on to gouache phase two. So I'm really excited and looking forward to starting that. It means opening my colors up to something called the Warm Cool palette. I'm also going to try to get two more head quick sketch sessions in this week and I'm going to make at least one of those a one hour long head study. I also want to get at least one burn number pick out study in so I can continue to move forward with my portrait phase one practice. And for my illustration work, my job this week is to finish the outline for my children's book and start writing my rough draft. And now that I have most of the reference collected for my Brigitte and the Babe illustration, aside from a picture of a real baby which I'll be getting later this next week, I'm going to go ahead and start the drawing for that. I also want to get more glazes in on my newborn fairy painting. That's a slow process, but I'm going to use a little bit of cobalt dryer to speed it along. So it's going to be a busy week, but I'm going to put my head down and do as much as I can one task at a time. I'll see you guys next week and hopefully have some paintings and drawings to show as well as some news to announce. If you like this video, you can subscribe down below here and feel free to leave a comment. 
If you want to keep up with everything I'm doing this week, you can also follow me on various social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Links for those down below. And you can also visit my website at arlieanderson.com and my store at arlieanderson.storeenv.com. All right, you guys, you have a fantastic week and keep having fun. Bye!